time now for another vlog. And I enjoyed doing last month's phobia vlog so much, interacting with all of you, my awesome viewers and subscribers and fans that participated in that vlog. I decided to do something similar uh, for November's vlog because it is Thanksgiving week in America. And some time ago, I did do a uh, thankful vlog a while back. It's somewhere on the list. Where is it? It's somewhere down here. I've done quite a few over on the Vlogs channel. By the way, if you're new to the Vlogs channel, this is where I post my vlogs. Feel free and check them out. Even at the very bottom, I have some of my silly uh, GTA uh, Rockstar Ed or Machinima videos because that's originally what the channel was. <laughs> then I changed my mind on, on that one. Well, I changed course a few times. But yeah, my thankful vlog, you know, that was uh, three years ago. Three years ago, that's crazy time flies. So obviously, I got quite a few vlogs over... Many thoughts, many views and opinions, and of course, briefly, we had a uh, a different change with the channel. I decided to do like reviews uh, for TV shows, movies. I uh, see Star Wars Last Jedi review broke me to the point where I never posted it, and it ended the uh, that experiment. I hate Last Jedi for all that, and more as a Star Wars fan. Thank you, Ryan Johnson. And then, of course, we went back to doing uh, vlogs every month, at least trying to do one at least once a month, which leads us to present day, Thanksgiving week in America. Now, I know some consider it to be a very controversial uh, holiday. Now, as somebody who is a lover of history and who thinks that we should learn from history and we should look at all aspects of history and not only the, the side that we wish to look at with the rose-colored glasses, but the ugly stuff too. That's the way history is. And unfortunately, some very bad things have happened historically. And the only thing we can really do is learn from history. But I do think that the idea of being grateful for things, to you know, especially during this holiday season, when so many people are getting together, families, friends, and, and celebrating, it doesn't matter what you happen to be, believe, whether it's uh, you know Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or Festivus, or uh, Winter Solstice, or something else entirely, or Saturnalia. You know, the idea is to you know reflect on the past year, and to, despite everything bad that happens in our lives, because plenty of bad things happen, is to remind ourselves about the things that we are truly grateful for in this life. And I gave you all the opportunity via the Gaming Channels community tab, as well as our awesome Discord community, to participate. So without further ado, let us start over on the gaming channel. Let's see who submitted something. Say Annoying did. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Annoying. Let's see. Uh, happy early th Thanksgiving to those of you celebrating. Um, okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Annoying. Very awesome. I think you went by something else recently. You must have just changed your name. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move to Discord. That was quick. Now, when it comes to asking people to submit... It's never a requirement, so I'm not mad that some people didn't leave, you know, submissions. I get it. It's always been optional. Just going to say that. We'll start off with Brian in our awesome Discord community. See, he's grateful to have the love of family and be a part of the Go Burns Nation. Well, we are very grateful to have you in the Go Burns Nation as well, Brian. Next is Snake. He's grateful that his father's still around at 81. Also grateful for having enough money and no worries to be able to indulge in his hobbies. Grateful for having good friends. And those are definitely things to be extremely grateful for because, you know, some people don't have their parents anymore. And I know that I've mentioned it quite a few times. You know, unfortunately, my dad sadly passed away over three years ago and I never got to know my mom. But for those of you that still have your parents, and I know there's some bad parents out there, but there's a lot of really good ones. And if you happen to have good parents, whether it's your father, your mother, grandparents, aunts, uncles, other legal uh, guardians, be grateful for them. Be grateful that they're in your life. And if you're able to be comfortable, be grateful that you have comfort and things could always be worse. And especially friends. Friends are definitely you know something that is quality over quantity. It is better to have a, a few really good friends than a whole bunch of friends that may not be your friends if the chips were to fall. Next is JT Max. I am grateful for my family, everything I have, 
all my friends, and God. And of course, a lot of people are very religious and they are grateful for their beliefs and they're grateful for being here. And they attribute that to, you know, God or the gods or a supreme being or whatever you happen to believe or not believe. But it is completely understandable that people that are religious would be very grateful towards the deity that they happen to believe in and worship. I see Sedan, my parents, my siblings, and all the friends I've managed to make and keep along the way. Those are very important things to be grateful for, Sedan. Absolutely. Next, let us move on to UG Outlaw. I'm just grateful that I have a positive outlook on life, even though this hasn't been a great year for me personally. I still have a loving family, awesome friends who I've met through Discord, YouTube, and in real life. And of course, his fiance uh, has been your rock over the past year. Great things to be grateful for, especially if you are lucky enough to ever find somebody special to uh, want to spend the rest of your life with. That is absolutely a great thing to be grateful for. And sadly, like myself, uh, UG Outlaw, well, just this year lost his father, which is a terrible tragedy. And it's sad when that happens, when we lose somebody close to us, whether it's a friend or a family member. But once again, you always have to remind yourself of what you still have. And be grateful for those memories that you have of your father, UG, and grateful for, for the family and for the friends you do have, and especially grateful for your fiance, who you're going to be you know, hopefully spending the rest of your life with. Next, we go to Space Monkey. I'm grateful for my family, friends, and technology. And you obviously see the theme. You know, some of the most important things for people to be grateful for, obviously, are your friends, family. Technology is kind of like a double-edged sword. There's a lot of things about technology that I'm grateful for. I like the fact that I have indoor plumbing and uh, you know, like you know, warm water for hot showers. I'm grateful for all these creature comforts that we have, all these luxuries that many generations never had or couldn't even imagine having. I'm grateful for, I guess, the basic technology to have a roof over our head, thanks to architecture, even though that's thousands of years old. I'm also a little hesitant about technology at times because I feel like we become too real, you know, reliant on it, like calculators or uh, GPS, for example. So I always feel like technology can be a blessing and a curse at times. But overall, like technology has been good in some aspects. Like it has been a lifesaver for a lot of people out there, you know, thanks to advancements in healthcare and sciences, for example. So there's definitely a lot when it comes to technology for us to be grateful for, not just the entertainment aspects, but also creature comforts that we take for granted. And of course, all the life-saving uh, things that have come about because of uh, technology and the advancements of technology and sciences. Okay, let's see. I'm grateful for my family, the community I build on this channel, the opportunities I've been given over the years, and the good people I've met over the years. Absolutely great things to be grateful for. Your community of friends around you, your family is definitely something to always be appreciative of. And I realize families are not perfect. And sometimes, you know, parents or siblings or aunts, uncles, maybe even grandparents might do things that, you know, upset you or annoy you, but nobody's perfect. And we probably do things that upset others as well. But at the end of the day, you know, it's good to have family in your life. And it's definitely something to be appreciative of and extremely grateful for. Archangel, grateful just to wake up every morning, grateful for my health, grateful for my father, grateful to be part of the Go Burns Nation. We're grateful to have you in the Go Burns Nation as well, Archangel. And I know things aren't the best at times with your father, and things weren't perfect between me and my dad, but you try to make the best of things. You try to make things work out. You realize that you know nobody's perfect. We all have our issues. And I'm grateful that you're trying to get better on your health. And, you know, a lot of us, you know, there's people out there that have serious conditions. And it is a real struggle for them just to get out of bed in the morning. And so that is something that a lot of us, once again, take for granted that we have basic health. You know, we have the ability with functioning limbs like legs and legs and I mentioned that arms and, you know, the basics that most people take for granted. And that's something we should always be grateful for is the, the basic health that we all have. Now, some of us have you know degrees of problems to varying um, issues. 
Some not so serious, some unfortunately probably terminal. I hate that. And then there's some people that have serious problems. But at the same time, there's a lot of people I've met that are way worse off than me health-wise, and they're just grateful to be alive. And you always got to find something to be grateful for, no matter how bad things get. Spare and donkey. I'm grateful that I live in a country such as the U.S. We have more choices than others. I'm grateful for a great family. I am grateful for having a roof over my head. Definitely some basic things to be grateful for, family, and of course, a roof over our heads, something a lot of people may take for granted. But I'm grateful to, well, I'm not going to get to what I'm grateful for just yet. I'm jumping the gun. But there are a lot of great countries out there besides the United States. And there are a lot of countries that are terrible, sadly, tyrannical dictatorships, extremism, and other things. So if you do happen to be lucky enough to live in a, one of the better countries, then that's absolutely something that you should personally be grateful for. And I think, unfortunately, a lot of Americans and a lot of people who live in first world countries, you know, they take it for granted. And that's something that we should always be mindful of, that there are people that are born that are not as lucky as we are when it comes to that sort of thing. And I'm not saying that America is better than any other country. It's far from perfect. It has its own share of flaws in history, as I talked about at the beginning of the stream. But despite the problems we have, despite the issues, you know, I too am grateful to be an American. By the same time, I'm also grateful to be on this beautiful world. And there I go, jumping the gun. Okay, so let's move on to Tank. See, Tank is grateful for a loving family and that he's fortunate enough to have a roof over your head. That is absolutely Two very important things to be grateful for. And finally, Shotgun. She is grateful for all her friends that she's made while gaming and all the games that she gets to play on a daily basis. And absolutely, like, I know video games is entertainment and a luxury. Just like reading a book or comics or watching TV shows or movies or watching sports. But we should all be grateful that we have these various hobbies and activities to entertain us and to, to help us, especially during tough times when we need some form of escape. And one thing that I really do love about video games is the fact that it brings people together from across the world and all walks of life. And there's almost like a, not an unlimited uh, variety of things game types out there, you know, indie games, double AA, A, triple A games, different like FPSs, RTSs, open world, strategy games, puzzle games, uh, battle royales, the list goes on and on. And there's almost anything and everything out there imaginable when it comes to video games that most people would find some great joy in playing. Much like Shotgun and probably a lot of you out there, I, too, am extremely grateful for all the video games I've played over the years, even ones that made me uh, a little salty time or two because of how frustrating there were you know, certain parts of the games. But overall, I have enjoyed most of the games I've played start to finish. And it's nice to go into these worlds that were created through the, the blood, the sweat, the tears and imaginations of other people out there and... That's something I've enjoyed throughout my life and the, the friendships I've made, the bonding I've had with so many out there, including my own community, my own friends and viewers and subscribers, members, uh, fellow content creators and streamers I've met through gaming, you know, whether it's in Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, or you know, playing Dead by Daylight or a variety of other games has meant a great deal to me personally. And so, yeah, I'm extremely grateful for all the times that whenever I would come home from a bad day at school or work or just a bad week in general, for whatever I'm a reason, that I would escape to, say, a Grand Theft Auto 4 or Red Dead Redemption or Skyrim or a list of other games, you know, just go into that world, you know, and just get lost and just forget about things and kind of use it as a mental punching bag. And most of the time I, I felt much better, you know. And just the stories and the characters and the emotions and the, the feels and the joy in playing games. You know, just as much as reading a good book or watching a great TV show or a fantastic movie or a, a, an excellent comic series. 
you know, it's just things that we should be grateful for. The, the creativity, the imagination of humanity, in, in my opinion, is one of our better traits and aspects. You know, the art that we have created over the years, the you know, poems, uh, plays, leading up to modern entertainment. Now, it's not everything. There's obviously more important things in the world to be grateful for. Like many of you pointed out, like uh, having family, you know, and having friends and having a roof over our heads and having, you know, food and fresh water and, you know, the basics like uh, hot running water, indoor plumbing or, you know, air conditioning and fans and uh, during the winter time, you know, clothing and, you know, central heating and cooling. You know, these are things that a lot of us in first world countries take for granted, but we should also be grateful for, even though it's possible that that could be having a negative effect on, on our environment, which hopefully we will come up with solutions for before it's too late. At least we can, we can hope that's the case. But also we should be grateful for this big, beautiful world we live on. And I've mentioned this a time or two in previous vlogs. And we should always be grateful for that because this is a beautiful planet we have. And I believe we need to take better care of it. But we should also be grateful for it. We should be grateful that we are alive. We don't know how long that's going to be for any of us because you never know when the bell tolls. But be grateful for how long you get on this beautiful blue ball and make the most of it. Be grateful for your friends and family. Be grateful for the opportunities that you have. Now, we all have uh, different cards that are dealt our way. You know, we all get bad cards, but we also, if you look hard enough, you also have good cards to be grateful for. And I know a lot of people out there have health issues and problems, myself included. And it's easy to dwell on those problems and to, to bring ourselves down. Case in point, uh, a week ago, I went to see someone that's very special to me. She's kind of like a surrogate mother to me. So I kind of call her, I kind of call her surrogate, but, um, you know, my sisters are important to me. My family, my close knit family is important to me. I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for the few friends I have in real life. I'm grateful for all of you, my awesome viewers, subscribers, and fans. But, you know, I have had my own health issues, uh, some internal pain I've been dealing with. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to go have it looked at. It's one of those situations where you hope that it'll go away and you think it will because you're eating right. You don't really you eat anything or consume anything that's bad for you. You haven't had a drop of alcohol in over a year. I mainly drink, you know, fresh water and I have some like coffee in the morning, like just straight up black coffee, no sugar, no cream, no anything in it. You know, I also have a you know hot green tea at night, and you know, drink a cup of a grapefruit juice, and for the most part, I eat relatively healthy, and I try to. And so you think that all that would be enough, along with the multivitamins, turmeric, and all that other stuff you consume, would be enough to to ensure that you would be healthy. But that doesn't always work out, and that's why we have to be thankful for uh, doctors and for modern medicine, and. You know, something has been getting me down for a while now. And I've done some days I do a better job of hiding it than other days. And sometimes I feel like maybe I, I try to ignore it. But last week I had a conversation with uh, my surrogate, as I call her. And, you know, she basically, you know, called me out during one of our uh, lunches. She was like, I know something's wrong with you. Like you look down, you look sad about something. I mean, it wasn't just because it was a Monday, <laughs> but you know, I finally felt like that was the opportunity I had waited for. Cause I've been kind of wanting to tell somebody that I felt like something was wrong. Now, some of you know, I do have a hereditary condition with my liver and that's a big reason why I don't drink alcohol anymore. That's another reason why I'm trying to get in shape and lose weight because all that has a negative effect on your liver. Now, I don't know if it is my liver. She she thinks it's not because my, my eyes look normal. I don't appear to have jaundice or any of that stuff that goes with uh, like liver issues, like yellow eyes or you know, like, like really yellow skin. But it could be something else. I mean, it, it could be anything. It could be my gallbladder. It could be my spleen. It could be, I don't know, 
and kidney stones for all I know. I'm not a doctor. But the mistake I was making that I've had to come to accept is assuming that it would eventually go away. And it hasn't gone away. And my dad made the same mistake as well. Now, I don't think I have what my dad had. But he spent five years ignoring it and trying everything he could, like, because he was an herbalist. And he ate relatively you know, healthy as well. And by the time he was willing to do something about it, it was basically all but too late. You know, he had tons of tumors in his bladder. He had to have his bladder removed. He had to go under, he had to undergo chemo. And fortunately, he was, he lived long enough to see his youngest daughter walk down the aisle. So he got to do that. But obviously, we would have liked for him to be around a lot longer, but we were grateful for the time that we, we, we had with him. So that's another thing. We have to learn from our mistakes and from the mistakes of others. And so hopefully it's nothing too serious, and hopefully I'll get it looked at. I um, got recommended a doctor to go to, and uh, hopefully we'll get that looked into. But I need to take care of it because it's obviously not going away on its own. And hopefully it's not too serious. But at the same time, I am grateful that there are people out there that care enough about me to to ask about me, you know, to say, hey, you know, something's wrong with you. What's wrong? Come on, spill the beans. What's wrong? What's going on? Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that won't, don't even care. You know, they won't even bother with it. They're like, eh, you know, it's not my problem. You know, so what? They're having a bad day. Well, there could be a variety of reasons they're having a bad day. Oh, they're, they're having a bad day? Like, them when they have almost everything on a silver platter and you know I, I accept that there's people that that have things way way worse off than me and i'm always very much aware of that reality and i'm very grateful for the life i have and i'm grateful for the people that are in my life and like i said i'm grateful for all of you and it's just the, the simple things that we take for granted every day that we should be grateful for the most, like grateful to have oxygen to breathe, grateful to have fresh water, grateful to have food, grateful to have, you know, roof over our head. So it's about being grateful for what we have and trying not to dwell too much on the bad things, the negative things, or aspects of our life we wish were better. Like you're depressed about not having somebody special in your life, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a spouse, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. You know, and other, other things. Many other things out there. We dwell too much on the negative. Myself included. I am absolutely 100%, 110% guilty of this. And I've been self-critical. And a few of you have pointed that out time and time again. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it's just my humor. I try to keep myself humble because I do have kind of an ego. And I always worry that if I let it go too, if I let it go on too far, my ego is going to be up there on upper atmosphere and you won't be able to pull me back down again. But, you know, there is some self-criticism there. There is some, you know, there is some negativity, self-hate, not, not to a extreme point, but, you know, you got to try not to be so self-critical because we can be our own worst critics at times. And if you're looking for somebody that's that's good at beating yourself down and and calling you all such of negative names and like calling yourself a failure and a loser and uh, all that stuff. All you really have to do to find the culprit, the chief culprit is look in the mirror. So that's another thing. Be grateful for the life you have, be grateful for the opportunities you get and realize that yeah, you may get some bad cards. You may have some bad days. You may have some L's, some F's. But you're also going to have some days where you get some W's. And you also have probably some very important people in your life, whether it's you know your family, your friends, or uh, pets. If you have pets, I'm sure a lot of you have pets. Like, I got two cats and a dog. And it's just, I guess the theme of the vlog is to be grateful for, just to be grateful. Be grateful for being here. And I don't know how long we're going to be able to make content on YouTube whenever it comes to all the nonsense that's happening with COPA and then the very real possibility that they're going to start deleting channels that are not quote-unquote commercially viable. I don't know what that means. I mean, maybe it's just 
channels that have been dormant for years that haven't posted anything new in like two or three or five years. Maybe that's it. Or maybe it's the beginning of YouTube as we know it. And it, that would be extremely sad because this has been a very enjoyable experience for me over the past decade. And I've had a few channels prior to the gaming channel and the vlogs channel, my political channel, helping my dad out with his channel. And I still keep that channel running because I want to keep that legacy going for him. And, you know, it would be very sad if YouTube just one day decided to start wiping out channels that weren't commercially viable, like the vlogs channel and uh, the political channel, my dad's channel. It would suck. It really would because, like, I consider that channel to be my dad's legacy in a way. Not just me and my sisters being his legacy, but also that because those videos are my dad. You know, his thoughts and his views and his opinions, his activism. And, you know, the same thing you could say with this channel, you know. Like, my gaming channel, I've loved doing it over the past five years. And hopefully I'll continue to be able to do it because it is commercially viable. Even though I don't really make much, I do make something off of that. And it's basically, I guess, the equivalent of a part-time job. And I'm extremely grateful for that, by the way. The word grateful. Yeah. You've heard that a bazillion times in this vlog. But this channel, I never expected it to be commercially viable or to ever have a ton of subscribers or views. It's just a nice place for me to go and share my thoughts and the views and opinions on a wide variety of topics. And if something should ever happen to me, I would like for this to be my own legacy, not just the political channel, which I get burnt. Uh, I get so burnt with politics more than not that I'm just, I honestly struggle with keeping that channel going. I keep bringing it back. I keep trying to at least do weekly videos over there, but it doesn't take too long for me to get burnt out again. Because I hate the divisiveness. I hate all the nonsense and the corruption and all this double standard BS. But with this channel, I feel like it's just, it's something that I'm proud of, even though it obviously the average video like doesn't get so many views compared to other channels out there. And that's fine. But for family members, for friends, for you, my viewers, subscribers, members, all of you that are part of my Go Burns Nation, fellow content creators, streamers. If you ever wanted to come somewhere and and know what I thought about a variety of issues, I feel like I've 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 built a pretty decent library about my hot takes on this particular subject or that subject. And that's a big reason why it takes longer for me to post a new vlog over here on the vlogs channels because I've gone over so many subjects already, and that's why I keep asking, hey, if there's a topic or a subject that I've yet to do, feel free and let me know below in the comment section.